יברכך אדוני מציון וראה בטוב ירושלים כל ימי חייך וראה בנים לבניך שלום על ישראל. Dear ladies and gentlemen, very honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs of Canada, our good friend Mr. John Baird, whom I have met in Yad Vashem in Yerushalayim a few months ago. Mordechai Ronen, a survivor, whom I greet today on the occasion of his 80th birthday. I don't limit you at Mea Vesrim. Lord Almighty will give you and all of you, healthy, happy, and many years more. Marcarlo Boldesera, one of the famous generosity people of Toronto, whom we know here in Israel. And last but never least, my good friend, the leader of that evening, Rav Yisrael Lando the Shaliach of the Lubavitcher Rebbe to Toronto. I admire him. I love his father, who is my colleague, Chief Rabbi of Nebrak, and I admire the memory of his grandfather, Rav Yaakov Lando, the former Chief Rabbi of Nebrak. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, whom I have the privilege to meet several times, also on Yechidut talks, two hours and 20 minutes each, he have established this formula of shluchim, messengers, all over the world. Among them, one of the brilliant shluchim is Rav Lando in, your, in Toronto, and you are privileged to have him. The idea was the unity of Klal Israel, the responsibility one to the other. Don't say like Cain said, Hashomer Achi Anochi, am I in the function to watch my brother? Yes, you are. Say it, Shomer Achi Anochi. Yes, I have to take responsibility like Jehuda took about Benjamin. We have to behave like Yosef, who said, Et achai ani mevakesh. I am looking after my brothers. I am looking after brotherhood, after partnership. This is the way that the Lubavitch Rebbe saw the Jewish world all over the globe. That's why he asked Rav Lando to go to Toronto Toronto, one of the most beautiful communities in the world today, is a community of mainly immigrants from five continents. Immigrants from America, from Europe, from Asia, including Israel, from South Africa, North Africa, Australia, have immigrated to Toronto. Must be that you are a very, very blessed community and very attractive that so many people of our nation came to live with you. But to give a spirit, to develop a concept of Jewish life and good education and to build a kehila and a center of absorption of all these immigrants in the real spirit of Jewish heritage, this is the task that Rav Lando and his friends took on their shoulders. So please, help them. In my book, Out of the Depths, speaking about the transfer from Holocaust to redemption, I dedicate a whole chapter for the Rebbe of Lubavitch. Mm -hmm. So in his spirit, I take this opportunity to wish you all a great success in life, many years of good health, a lot of naches from your children and children's children, and let us hope that a great community in Toronto, in Canada in general, will be a milestone to complete 
the vision of our prophets of Mashiach Tzidkenu, who will come and rebuild Beit HaMikdash in the rebuilt Yerushalayim very soon in our days. Amen.